wash panel here. Paper templates over there of uh, this shape over here, mainly this shape and this shape. What shape? Um, this one and this one? Yeah. Uh, then I just added a little bit extra, half inch or so on each side for the two flanges. You see how this is double double paneled? Yep. Um, and then I just scribe that out onto a blank sheet, tip the edge, and now I'm just stretching and shrinking and hammering and dolling until it's the shape I want. Cool. And you just hammer it over this piece of pipe here. Oh uh, yeah, this piece of round stock. When you get into stuff like this, anything's a hammer, anything's a dolly. I use this as a hammer sometimes. Get the, <laughs> you know, areas like that. Whatever works. Sticks that you've built. You're a lefty? No, I just do this for the camera. Oh, man. Boy, I could eat anything on this table. Maybe the size of the scammer. <laughs> you can, you're really an ambidextrous. No. You're left handed? I'm left handed. Come on. No, I'm lying for the camera. <laughs> Try right hand. Oh, I don't think I've ever done this. Ooh, that's weird. I don't like that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't old man me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Eat and switch. Eat and switch. Uh, it's not as steezy as my left hand, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for your custom. These are Jack's, Jack's chopsticks. Jack sticks. Pass on them. I think he's gonna. There, he's gonna like put them in for like a. a he'll do a bun in his hair. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, stick. right before a duel, he'll swivel his hair around <laughs> and slam it into a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You have dishonored my family and my mess. <laughs> this is the guy! Taylor thought that these are, uh, well, he didn't think. These are for your, you can you make a bun in your hair. And, that's, what, that's what Matt thought? Yeah. Matt, that's what you thought they were for? Well, I knew what they were for. But I mean, in reality, they were actually for, yeah, you're too low there. You know? Ask yourself this. Have you seen anybody challenge Jack ever? Yeah. Challenge to what? A duel. A duel. <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. So, Jack, actually talk about what your chopsticks are for. It's not my idea. I saw somebody uh, online who makes videos. Did a lot of work for Aston Martin. Uh, and you said he makes a tucking tool by taking these quarter inch rods sharpening them almost to a point on the ends you know tapered and you weld them together and you put a bend in it so then you can use this as a lever to put your gathers on like in this case i'm trying to make some shrinks in here so how well it will work you're gonna find out perfect so you took those things, you ground them to a somewhat of a point on the belt sander, and then stuck them in oil. 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 And then he burned a hole in the bottom of the plastic container. He put the oil in, and oil went all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> I think it went. You quenched them in oil? Is that what happened? You just left them in there? No, I went too far, and I took it out, and was like, what's this little stringy bit on the end? A little plastic? Where did you do it? It's all into a, Timmy's toolbox. Oh. And Timmy's toolbox is covered in oil. Oh, no, it's right, right, right. Oh, you did it over here. Oh, no big deal. Right in Timmy's toolbox. I was going to put my hot part right in the top drawer. I think that's the best spot. Little deer turds. Nice. Good. Just gonna smooth it out to make uh to make it so it doesn't mark up the metal. Yeah. 
You gotta go to my OnlyFans for that, for that shot. <laughs> Jack, what's your OnlyFans? It's, it's me, Jack G. He hasn't no, given no. the link yet. You, you can take that out of the video. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> Jack, me, Jack G. There's no idea. This is wrong. At OnlyFans? <laughs> So you're, Jack's metal finishing his rod. <laughs> Please. I shouldn't agree to this. <laughs> so anyways, there's a little bit of mill scale on there. Not a lot, but it, he's just cleaning it up so when he goes to weld it, it'll weld super nice. Here, Jack, polish the rod a little more. <laughs> I'm just tripping. Man, you're looking a little short today. Yeah, my legs hurt. I've been welding with shorts on, because that was a good move. I blame Taylor. Taylor's well, I don't get one. On he, yesterday, he's like, ah, today's going to be nice. I'm going to wear shorts. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wear shorts. It's 45 and raining. Perfect shorts weather. I didn't look outside when I put them on, you know? Now I'm sitting there, crisscross applesauce, welding away, and it's just keep getting burned, you know? It's okay. Where's the rest tomorrow? Remember, on tomorrow we're all wearing white beaters. No, not. <laughs> Come on, guys. I thought you were all going to wear white beaters. I thought you were going to do things. Yeah? Yeah, you've heard the story before. We went to the trip to the, what was it, that New York State Museum? Yeah, all right. Museum. Guess what? Oh yeah, where are your uniforms, everybody? Who's the only one that's showing up in a Cub Scout uniform? It was me. All right. Did you fix the lead turned into the man you yeah. had today. Yeah. I did. Go. Your blade will kill. Your blade will kill. Is that a tiny little hoe for a bonsai tree? The tiniest hoe I've ever seen. That's a skinny hoe. No comment. <laughs> Incredible disease. No, no, you gotta breathe it in. Breathe it in. Just don't touch it to the side. Is it still warm? Smell not bad. anymore, it's not. That tool's for tucking. Tuck shrinks, for shrinking actually. So you tuck the metal over like that, and you hammer it out. And you're essentially shrinking the metal. And then he can bend this line here over like this. Because if you were to just try to fold this over in here, it does, it's not just going to fold over because all once you get to here, all of this metal that's here, in order for it to go, has to kind of bunch together in order to like fold back around.
a little harder. That wood's a little harder, huh? It did its job, though. Yeah. It shrank. Yeah. A lot of hammer marks. So this isn't really the right hammer, but... That's all right. Make it work. So the part is done. Jack finished this up, metal finished it, it came out awesome. So this piece goes here. So originally, this is the piece that was like, had some pinholes and some pitting in it. And this piece originally went there. Obviously this is all gone, so well, they sell a replacement for this, they sell this replacement. They do not sell this replacement, which is why Jack made this. So now this piece has the correct shape and then this is going to go right here. So the next thing is this is going to be sectioned into there and then once this is on there, then this piece can be welded into place. It's quite a uh, quite an elaborate fix, actually. Uh, there's a lot that goes into to doing this. You know, again, it's like it's kind of a bummer that you, we couldn't just buy this piece, but it's also at the same time um, there's a pretty good chance that even if they sold it, it would be wrong because a lot of these pieces aren't very right. Um, you know. This piece is probably not 100% accurate if we were to be using the whole thing, but the fact that we're just sectioning the bottom portion of it um, should be really close. And you know, even this piece where this kind of goes, you can sort of get an idea on fitment, you know, on how this shape sort of fits into there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and one of us will get back to you. It'll probably be me. Have a good one, see ya.